Can you be healthy in spite of the holidays? Hey, wouldn't you love to happily soar through the holidays and feel so good on January 1st that battling weight and yo-yo dieting, they're a thing of the past. You've kicked them to the curb. You can go from struggling to success and I'm on a mission to help you replenish, revitalize, and nourish yourself through the holidays and hey, beyond. You can wake up on January 1st feeling vibrant, alive, well-nourished, and easily pop into your skinny jeans. I'm Katherine Chess, and I'm your nutritionist. I'm your joyful living coach, and this is Thriving Thursdays, where we take a mindful approach to not only nourishing your body, nourishing your life. No matter where you are with your body, no matter where you are with your health, you can always get better, even in the craziness, the craziness of the holidays. I know about those, but this year it's different, the craziness of the pandemic. You wanna get healthy and your body, it wants to return to something called homeostasis. It's balance, right? I'm here to help. So over the holidays, every Monday, and every Thursday, I'll be gifting you with powerful tips, tools, and amazingly delicious, healthy, yummy recipes. You can apply right away, right now, to keep you running like a well-oiled machine. So to make sure you don't miss a single episode, click the link below and sign up for Mindful Mondays and Thriving Thursdays. At the end of this video, you're gonna be on YouTube. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell so you get notified every single time that I share another life enhancing video with you. So let's start with my tips for you to make your holidays fantastic. Let's make your holidays delicious. We're gonna to learn to show up for our meals, okay? I'm gonna tell you what I mean by that. This week, rather than eating foods that you think will make you thin or will help you tone up, build lean muscle, or burn fat, I'd like you to start to show up for your meals. Take notice of how the foods that you're eating make you feel. Every unique, amazing body, no matter where it is in the world, especially yours, it has its own natural rhythm. It loves certain things, and it can't tolerate others. I invite you to eat slowly and breathe deeply while you start to eat. Start chewing your food until it's liquefied and then swallow it. Notice if your digestion, if it gets upset when you eat certain foods and if you feel unsatisfied after a meal and it leads to a binge later, maybe in the day, the week, the month, and look at your current diet. Is it working for you? How does it make you feel? Or is it just a means to an end? Start noticing what foods really work for your amazing body. Make a list, make a list of the best foods for you, and then eat them often. The truth is, even if a certain diet gets you to the size, the shape that you want, and you're excited, if you hate it and it makes you feel unsatisfied, if it doesn't feel good in your digestion, or it doesn't make you feel alive, or it's simply just not enjoyable, you won't be able to stick with it, really for the long term. So start to tune in, tune in to which foods make you feel good, make you feel nourished and satisfied, but not stuffed, okay? These are the meals that are really going to get you to the body you want. No diet expert, no guru can tell you exactly what is going to work for you. Not even me, okay? Only you can work from the place of feeling good and watch how it transforms your relationship with both your food and your body. Your next tip is to wear clothes that fit and flatter you. Let me explain. The clothes that fit and flatter your body make you feel fabulous. Make a commitment to only wear those clothes 
that you really, really love. This sends a mental message to your body that it's safe, it's loved. Move to feel good. Get your body in those great clothes that are feeling so good. Your next tip is move to feel good, not to slim down. You weren't doing it to stay healthy. Stop punishing yourself with grueling workouts because you think it's healthy, okay? When we're exercising and thinking something like, oh, my body needs to change, I gotta get this weight off, oh my gosh, you're sending a loud and clear message to your body that it's not good enough. We need to love ourselves exactly as we are. Love yourself with movement that feels right in your body. Ditch the spin class if you hate it. Move to the pole dancing or yoga or walking. That's what I love. Maybe something you've always wanted to try like tango. You know, we think things can't be good for us because they're not in high intensity, but they are if you do them consistently. And that way you'll have fitness for life. Your next tip is to love yourself up in the shower, yep, in the shower. And your body's going to love you back. When you're in the shower, get some great smelling bath soaps, create a spa-like ritual for yourself, and wash your body, just wash it up and love it up. Say, thank you, my arms, thank you, my legs, thank you for supporting me. Tell your legs, your arms, your stomach, thank you for being there to help me maneuver through life. Wash any parts of your body that you think could be improved and shift your perception. Thank them for what they're lovingly, faithfully, and here's the big one, consistently doing for you. They take care of you. Tell your body, I love you, I love you, I love you through your entire shower. Then when you get out and you put your moisturizer on, send love to every part every part the lotion touches. Feel the love for how your body takes amazing care of you. Hey, this might feel really uncomfortable and even totally inauthentic when you first start. And when this becomes your everyday routine, you're going to start to believe your I love yous. You are worthy. You are deserving of love right now. If you're eating the wrong foods for your body, if you're binge eating, and if you have no idea how to listen and love your body, hey, I am developed a great program for you. It's my 21 day challenge, just in time for the holidays. It's specially designed to help you go from compulsively craving to calm and comfortable in your body. So to learn more and register, click over to Joyful Living with Catherine Chess and I can't wait to see you there. It's on my program page. I'm Katherine Chess. I'm your nutritionist and joyful living coach. I help you to rebalance your hormones, renew your energy, and love, love, love your life. More importantly, I help you to love yourself. Love yourself. Bye-bye.